Case number IT 9937I. The prosecutor versus Slobodan Milosevic. The appearances. Yes, good morning, Your Honours. Cara del Ponte, Chief Prosecutor, appearing for the prosecution, assisting me, my senior trial attorney, Dirk Reinwald, along with Cristina Romano, Milbert Sheen, and Dan Saxon. Thank you, Your Honour. This is the initial appearance of the accused in this case upon his transfer to the tribunal. The hearing is to be conducted in accordance with the rules of procedure and evidence of the tribunal, Rule 62. Mr. Milosevic, I see that you are not represented by counsel today. We understand that this is of your own choice. You do have the right, of course, to defend yourself. You also have a right to counsel, and you should consider carefully whether it's in your own best interests not to be represented. These uh, proceedings will be long and complex, and uh, you may wish to reconsider the position. Uh, in these circumstances, if you wish to have time to consider whether you want to have counsel or not, uh, we will be prepared uh, to give it to you. Now, do you want some time uh, to consider now whether you wish to be represented? I consider this tribunal false tribunal and indictments false indictments. It is illegal being not appointed by UN General Assembly, so I have no need to appoint counsel to illegal organ. Well, Mr. Milosevic, in due course, you will have the chance to put in motions challenging the jurisdiction or any other preliminary matters you wish, which you wish to do. But we take it that uh, you wish to proceed today without counsel, although it's a matter which you may wish to reconsider in due course. This uh, initial appearance is simply to deal with these matters uh, first of all, the indictment itself, and secondly, for you, if you wish uh, to enter your pleas of guilty or not guilty to it. The first matter is the indictment. As you may know, you have the right to have the indictment read out now in court. Uh, before you plead to it. This is a, a right which you may also waive. Now, do you want to have the indictment read out or not? That's your problem. Mr. Milosevic, you are now before this tribunal and you're within the jurisdiction of it. You uh, uh, will be tried by the uh, tribunal. You will be accorded the full rights of the accused according to international law and the full protections of international law uh, and the statute. Mr. President.
trial chamber will treat your response as a waiver of your right to have the indictment read out. The next part of the procedure is to move towards uh, having that uh, indictment put to you. Mr. Milosevic, you may, if you wish, have time to consider your plea. The rule allows you up to 30 days to do so. If you don't understand the matters to which you have to plead, or you wish to consult, consult counsel before entering a plea. On the other hand, uh, you may uh, enter a plea today. Now, do you uh, want to enter pleas today, or are you asking for an adjournment to consider the matter further? This trial's uh, aim is to produce false justification for the war crimes of the NATO committed in Yugoslavia. Mr. I asked you a question. Do you wish to enter your pleas today, or are you asking for an adjournment to consider the matter further? Yes, I have given you my answer. Furthermore, this so-called tribunal state that if an accused fails to enter a plea, then the trial chamber shall enter a plea of not guilty on his behalf. Mr. Milosevic, we treat your response as a failure to enter a plea, and uh, we shall enter pleas of not guilty on each count on your behalf. As I have said, the aim of this tribunal is to justify the crimes committed in Yugoslavia. That is why this is a false tribunal, an illegitimate one. I'm sorry, the microphone is not on. Mr. Milosevic, this is not the time for speeches. As I've said, you will have a full opportunity in due course to defend yourself and uh, to make your defense before the tribunal. Uh, this is not the moment to do so. Uh, this matter is now adjourned. The next hearing will be a status conference which will take place in the week commencing the 27th of August unless the trial chamber orders an earlier hearing. And the matter is now adjourned. All right, for your vote of eight.